as yet another year winds down to the very, very end. I've been doing some reflecting over the past year uh, in regards to my YouTube channel and the amazing amount of support from everybody who's uh, taken the time to send me emails, private messages on Facebook, um, you know, just the random comments and suggestions and questions and you know the asking for my help in decision making on the channel itself you know it, it really warms my heart um you know when i can provide advice and help people and know the advice is not always stick with pentax <clears throat> i'm you sorry my as you're probably aware we're having a crazy blizzard crazy whatever vortex something siberian highway something weird weather thing and uh yeah i went to go check outside and yeah sorry my throat's a little blah but anyways um yeah so it just it really warms my heart uh knowing that i've been able to suggest things that i have and i've been able to aid people in the in the right direction because you guys everybody does actually give me feedback after the fact um you know to say that i have really helped them it's improved how they're shooting or uh, you know, the lens that they purchased was exactly what they were looking for. And they're, you know, extremely ecstatic and happy with the performance. Um, you know, but as I said, it's not always just go buy Pentax. Because at the end of the day, you need to use the gear that suits what you're doing. And depending on specifics of what you're looking for, it's not always going to be Pentax as being the right answer. I focus on Pentax because that's what I actually shoot. Uh, I know on the surface it looks like, you know, because I have the K3 Mark III, I have the DFA 150-450, I've got the FA Star 600 F4, I've got the 1650 PL. I know it looks like I have a bucket full of money and I can just go get whatever I want. But that all that entirety of that thing, and people <laughs> tried to call, I don't know, people called me a liar uh, stating that uh, it was actually Rico who provided this equipment to me, which is absolutely not the case whatsoever. Uh, believe it or not, the crazy amount of stuff I received at the beginning of the year uh, was actually provided by a subscriber. Uh, the The story with that, <clears throat> the, the story with that was basically started off with just what's my dream lens. Now, anytime anyone ever asks you what's your dream anything, you're going to say something that's completely and utterly out of reach. You know, you're not thinking about convenience or anything like that. You're not thinking realistically. Uh, for example, you know, oh, well, you know, what's your favorite car? Oh, well, Lamborghini Diablo or Lamborghini uh, Murcielago or Aventador or whatever, right? Koenigsegg or, you know, Pagani, Ferrari, you know, things that are just completely and utterly unobtainable. Um, you know, it wouldn't be very convenient if you have a family, but you're not thinking about that. You're just thinking about, ooh, a dream. You know, that's why they're a dream. So the conversation started with, what's my dream lens? So I said the 600 F4. They, they sent me a message back saying they found one. And I thought, okay, well, that's fantastic. Great. You found one. Good for you. <laughs> right? Like, what does that have to do with me? Um... Now we did. Uh, he he did get my uh, address. I provided it to him. He wanted he wanted to thank me for the work I have put into the channel. Uh, so he said he wanted to send me something. I said okay, fine. All right. So gave him my address. From there, uh, th this is after I did some background research on the person, and we had a long conversation back and forth. Anyway, uh, so everything checked out. Good person, um, you know, but. When they ended up alluding to the fact that they were going to send me the 600 F4, they got it for me. I told them, well, if I knew, I actually asked them to cancel that order. Because uh, I said, you know, if I knew that that's what your intent was, I would never have actually picked that lens. Uh, you know, I would have picked the 15450 and the 1650 PLM. Only because both of those lenses would be more obtainable to my subscribers. I would get more use out of them and it would be more economically viable for him to purchase so everybody wins uh now the surprise came when a big box showed up at my door that had the 1650 plm the 15450 the 1.4 time teleconverter 
uh, the Godox V1 Flash with the full lighting accessory kit, extra Pentax batteries, uh, Pentax gadget camera bag, um, uh, what else? The Benro carbon fiber tripod, the Benro carbon fiber gimbal, uh, you know, just a huge amount of things. There, there were more things that were in that package too, but uh, anyway, uh, you know, it's just, I, I was absolutely blown away. Um, so just to clear it up, no, none of this was provided by Pentax. Pentax has not supported my channel whatsoever at all, period. No contact, uh, no conversations, no offers, nothing. Um, but let's uh, just quickly take a look back here. So on January 4th is when I made that video about the giant, huge, mega, super surprise. That was when I received the 600 F4. Uh, you know, and then I went on, uh, let's see, the pen, talking about Pentax DCU5. And I'm going through these just because the amount of things, you don't realize how much you're actually doing on YouTube unless you actually go back. The same thing with your photography. You don't realize how far you've come unless you can go back and review where you were previously. So I was just scrolling through here and I was like, wow, I've covered a lot of topics. You know, like will buying a brand new high end camera uh, all of a sudden, you know, get you better photos? You know what I mean? Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, crop factor, equivalencies, focal multipliers, all that fun stuff. And then uh, the DFA uh, 102.8 macro, uh, you know, my little trick with zoom exposure. Uh, you know, and then I talked about my Ben Rove tripod. Uh, design comparison between the original K3 and the K3 Mark III, uh, the K3 Mark III custom user mode, and you know this is before they finally implemented firmware 1.70, uh, where it actually does show the uh, username on the custom user mode. So that video is out of date, but at that time they didn't have it. So yeah, I said why it's awful, and that's the thing. I'm critical of Pentax when there's things to be critical about and I praise them up and down when they've nailed things and got it right. So I'm not, you know, what I would say a Pentax fanboy. It's just the equipment that I actually do use. And as I keep stating and keep stressing, I created this channel to give back to the community. And I clearly can tell there is a lack of Pentax coverage at least in the way that I go about doing it, you know, going through the menus, going through the settings, trying to give you the best way forward to absolutely get the most out of your Pentax camera. That is messing on YouTube. So that's what I try to, that's what I try to cover. And then, you know, I focused on every single one of the firmware improvements, uh, video AFC, and then some fun competitions between myself, Lee Hayes, Lee Iverson, um, you know, Eddie Summers, you know, all that fun stuff as well. Uh, and then moving over, let's see, I think this is it. What else did I cover over the past year? Uh, oh yeah, uh, Viltrox had reached out to me, or well, technically We Light had reached out to me in regards to, uh, you know, doing a review of their new light or their new lighting system. So I uh, checked that out, uh, you know, even when I made mistakes going for the wrong lens when I took the 15450, and it was just too much zoom for what I was trying to shoot. Uh, you know, what should Pentax do moving forward? You know, kind of discussion things. And then, you know, actually, I don't think I did any live. Uh, yeah, I, I did do a few lives over the, over the past year as well. Uh, you know, but you guys have been with me. Oh, wow. You know, through the majority of this journey. And, uh, you know, I, I can't, I honestly can't thank you enough, uh, for just sticking with me throughout this journey. And yeah, you know, I mean, things aren't always going to be 100% perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm only human, you know, even though people at my actual work are now calling me Kobe Tron. So, uh, you know, they think I'm a robot or something, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I, so I just wanted to take this time to thank each and every single one of you, my wonderful subscribers, for sticking with my channel, sticking with me, 
uh, you know, appreciating the content that I am putting up. And, uh, you know, I just wish every, every single one of you a very, very safe and, uh, you know, a safe, fulfilling holiday. And I'm not going, you know, I don't know everybody's personal uh, life. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, if you are going through a tough time, you know, say if, if you've lost a loved one, it happens, you know, um, you know, it's very unfortunate. However, at the end of the day, it is the holiday time. And I usually use this time as a time and moment to reflect and, you know, find the positives in everything, you know, and just review what you've done over the past year, right? Because we're always trying to improve. It's a, hu I think anyway, it's a human nature thing. We're always trying to improve, you know, one foot in front of the other, always keeping it moving, always trying to one up the last time, right? So it is nice to just reflect, look back and, uh, you know, no matter what you're going through in life, always, you know, just try to keep your head up uh you know and, and think of the positives take some time to reflect make a plan for the following year not like a new year's resolution thing because i don't think those work <laughs> but uh you know think of it as uh you know just make a plan if you're not happy with a certain area you know what i mean make a plan to improve that and stick with it throughout the year and then you'll be amazed when you go back and see how far you've actually come but uh, yeah, so anyway, that's it for this video. It's not photography related or anything like that. Just really wanted to give a warm thank you to everybody. So there you have it. So be safe for this holiday season and uh, see you next year. I'm out.